Hey there, CJ Math students. So this is your last homework assignment, homework 4.7 before your test tomorrow. So we're going to do kind of a review of combining like terms, distributive property, and then also some of that geometry stuff with perimeter that we did today. All right. So uh, important thing to remember is these minus signs can be tricky. Um, you can go ahead and always change them to adding the opposite, right? So in my case, for number one, I can change this 3x minus 7x to plus a negative 7x plus a negative 4, right? So I'm going to go ahead and look for like terms. That's obviously 3x and negative 7x. Now 3 plus a negative 7, write down your rule. It's different signs subtract more. Remember your rules for uh, addition are different signs subtract more or same signs add and keep. So here I have more negatives, so I will keep the negative sign of negative 4x plus negative 4. Be super careful about your negatives, guys. I can't stress that enough. So look at number 2 here. Um, keep change change it would actually turn into 5x plus positive 3 right adding the opposite well it's already a negative the opposite of that is positive so that should actually be a pretty easy problem there all right number three if I have a negative x really I have a coefficient of negative 1 in there and then I can go ahead and say plus a negative 2 and now I'm going to go ahead and look for like terms so negative 1x and 15x again that's d s s m different signs subtract more so 15 minus 1 gives me 14 I have more positives I keep the positive symbol. So 14x plus negative 2. 14x plus negative 2. Right? Uh, there's no need to change this to a plus negative, right? Because this is already saying, hey, I'm a negative 8. And this is this right here is basically saying plus the negative. So do not change that right there. You're doing 20x plus negative 8x. And obviously that's a DSSM again. So I'll help you with the DSSM, but you guys need to solve. Right, <clears throat> so here again, put that coefficient of one. So we have plus negative one x plus negative four x. Looking for like terms, that's the negative one x and the negative four x. So we have negative one plus negative four. Finally, we have an S S A K. Same signs add and keep the sign. So thirteen is all by itself; it's a constant. Plus negative five x. So thirteen plus negative five x. Please make sure you're putting your answers on your answer line there and make sure that you're actually putting negative signs when you have a negative five. If you put 13 plus five X, it's incorrect, right? Again, you're gonna to wanna to put a coefficient of one there, change that to plus negative, change that to plus negative, and then go to work, right? Uh, number seven, uh, go ahead and change this to plus negative two A, plus negative three, plus negative five, and look for all your like terms. So I have nine A plus negative two A, and plus negative five A. So you can work this a whole bunch of different ways, I like to go ahead and add the SSAK part first, right? So I like to say, okay, this is still 9A plus 8, and then negative 2A plus negative 5A. So basically I'm going to not, there, it's still a like term, but I'm just going to do it in two steps. So negative 2A plus negative 5A is negative 7A, SSAK plus negative 3. Now, you don't have to like order stuff in my brain, I have 9A plus negative 7A, that's a DSSM. So this first part was an SSAK, right? This is 9 minus 7 because they're different signs and I have more positive, so that gives me 2A. And then I have 8 plus negative 3. Again, that's also a DSSM. I have more positive, so 8 minus 3 is 5. 2A plus 5. Again, super, super aware of your integer signs and rules. So an 8, I'll help you out, plus negative 1A plus negative 12a plus negative. All right, All right number nine. Uh, we have some a's and b uh, variables, so we're gonna make sure that we look out for that. Uh, so the a variables are 7a and negative 5a, so we have DSSM with that. And then we also have 2b and 9b, that's just two plus nine, that's SSAK. And then we have some constants, we have five, and negative one. See, I triple underline that, right? So seven plus negative five, um, again, DSSM, seven minus five, really, I have more positive, so that gives you two A. Two B plus nine, that's easy, that gives me 11 B. And then five plus negative one, that's also DSSM. Uh, so five minus one, different signs subtract. I have more positive, so five minus one gives me plus four. Two A plus 11 B plus four. Okay, here you're gonna to wanna to do plus negative, maybe make that a one B, 
plus negative don't automatically think, oh, I can cancel those out because they're different variables. Right? All right, uh, number 11, uh, we can do distributed property. Make very, very, uh, be very aware, excuse me, that this is a negative four, right? So you're distributing a negative four, and this is obviously a negative five. So we have 15 plus negative 4a, and then a negative times a negative, that's same sign's positive, so plus 20, right? So I did my multiplication rules first, SSP on that one, right? Now I gotta think about my addition rules. And luckily for this one, all you have is constants, right? So 15 plus 20 is 35, so 35 plus negative 4a. You can easily write negative 4a plus 35. Community or property of addition doesn't matter which way you put it, right? So here again, you want to probably say plus negative and make that a one, and also make this a one, right? right. So here, plus a negative, so negative two times x and negative two times six, so we have nine x plus negative two x, because that was a negative times a positive, plus negative 12, again, negative times a positive, so that was nothing but different signs negatives. And now we have nine x and two x, go back to different signs, subtract, and we keep the sign that has more. So we have more positives, that's why it's positive. Not because there's one negative, oh, therefore it's negative. We gotta go back to our addition rule. So seven x plus negative 12 is our answer there. All right, make sure that this is a one x and plus negative three. All right, backside. Uh, backside, I'm only gonna do a couple problems. This should be very familiar from what we did in class today. Uh, perimeter, uh, basically this one's, you're gonna have a long expression on. So you're gonna say three x, plus 1x, right, that's this guy, plus 1x plus 5, that was this guy, plus 2x plus 3, that was this guy, and then plus 1x plus 5. So a really long expression, right? But 3x and 1x and 1x and 2x and 1x, right? So 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 1 more is 5, uh, plus 2 more is 7, 5 plus 7 is, uh, sorry, 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 more is 8. So we have 8x, and then let's do all the constants. So 5 and 3 and 5. So 5 and 5 is 10, plus 3 more is 13. So 8x plus 13. And then evaluate if x is 4. So 8 parentheses 4, right? Not 8x anymore. 8 parentheses 4 plus 13. I got, how did I get this? I got this from directly from that expression. I just plugged in a 4 for the x. So 32 plus 13. Uh, and that gives us 45 units, right? Um, number 17, we've got, this is a rectangle, so we can, we can even uh, do it the shortcut way, right? Instead of writing, saying, oh, this is also 2x plus 3, and this is also 4x plus 4, and adding a really long expression, I can just say, okay, I know I have two of them that are 2x plus 3. I'm gonna add that to two of them that are 4x plus 8, right? Now with the distributed property, I get 4x plus 6, and add that to 8x plus 16, and I add those up, I get 12x, right, 4x and 8x is 12x, plus 24. Right? To evaluate if x was negative 1, we'd say 12, parentheses negative 1, plus 24. Again, all I did was plug it into this expression here, but instead of an x, I plugged in a negative 1. So I got negative 12, right, because 12 times negative 1 is negative 12, plus 24. My perimeter would be 12 units if x was negative 1. All right. Um, on this one, it's interesting, since they're all x plus 3, you could really just do 4 times x plus 3 to get your expression, right? Um, okay, 19, we can do 2 times x plus y plus 2 times 2x plus 3y. When I do that, I get 2x plus 2y plus 4x, right, 2 times 2 is 4x, plus 6y. And now combine just the x's, I get 6x, and combine just the y's, I get 8y. All right, great. So let's evaluate now if x is four. So six x plus eight y, and if x is four, I'm saying six parentheses four, right, plus eight parentheses negative one. So what do we get with this? Six times four is 24, and then eight times negative one is negative eight. So 24 plus negative eight, that's a DSSM, different sign, subtract 
keep the sign that we have more of. So 24 minus 8, 16. We have more positive 16 units. All right, that's it. Call me if you have questions.